Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, setting up two helical gears and working out the distance between the two helical gears. So first of all, I've opened up an assembly in SolidWorks and I'm going to create a layout. Inside the layout, I'm going to draw two circles. The circles can be any size, it's not important, and they can be any distance apart. I'm going to put a dimension there and I'm going to use this dimension later on to drive the distance between the two um, gears. Okay, as I said, the none of the dimensions here are important at this stage. So, finish the layout. Now I'm going to import a helical gear. I'm looking for a two to one reduction. So I'm going to set up modulus 10 and the modulus will depend on the, the torque you're transmitting through the gear. The number of teeth is 12. It's a left hand um, helical gear that I'm putting in first. The helix angle is 45. The face width 35. The type here is type C. That means it has this boss section on the end of it. And you can set up a hole diameter and a keyway if you would like one installed. So, except. Now I'm going to bring in the second gear. Again, you must keep the same modules for them to mate. The number of teeth is 24. And for the two uh, gears to mate, if the first one was a left hand tread or a left hand toot, then this one needs to be a right hand toot. Everything else I can keep the same and accept. So now I'm going to position the two gears into the assembly. Remember the first item you bring into an assembly is fixed. So just right click and float it. Now I'm going to mate, select the hole. Once I select the hole, press the little paper clip and mate it with the circle that I've drawn in the layout. The hole for the second gear Accept and then mate the front face of the two gears so that they're at the same on the same plane. And if you'd like to position them in the assembly, you could also mate the front face with the front face of the assembly so the two gears are in position. Now you can clearly see that the gears are not meshing at the moment. The center distance between them is too far. So how do we calculate the distance between these? In a similar manner to a spur gear where we would multiply the modules by the number of teeth, we do the same thing for the helical gear, only we divide by the angle of the helix. And our the helix angle of our teeth is 45 degrees. So the calculation is 24 teeth multiplied by the modulus of 10. Plus twelve teeth multiplied by a modulus of ten and divide by two, and that would give us the distance between the centers if these were two spur gears. But because they're two helical gears, we have to multiply by the cos of the angle of the helix, which is forty five. And that gives me a center distance of 254.56. So back into my layout. Change this. So double click 254.56. Rebuild. And rotate the teeth so that they're meshing correctly. I'm just going to take a quick look at the front view of this. So you can see the teeth are meshing correctly there. And we have 
proper meshing of the two teeth because we have a left and a right hand gear inserted. So hopefully that was of some help. Thank you.